Well, a producer from American Idol had scouted me um, and asked me if I wanted to audition for the show in Nashville. And I thought it was spam at first. I was like, this can't be real. <laughs> but it was real. And so I ended up doing it and then ended up third place in 2018. performing for six years before I went on the show. Anytime I was done with school, I would just perform, perform every single day. Me, it was like me, my dad, and my sister on the road. But I remember singing in a literal grocery store. And then at the age of 16, I got to open up for Cole Swindell. The year before I did American Idol, I did 136 shows. And it was just me and my dad just going wherever, booking whatever, and so, I felt like, oh, yeah, I can go up there and perform. And then I got hit with a bunch of different challenges that I didn't know I was going to get hit with. So even when you're prepared for something, I, I think it's good to always remember that you're going to be challenged on something, too. Oh, lying under the streets, see the moon rise over the river. We wrote I Hope on Halloween of last year and I wrote it with two male friends, Zach Kale and John Knight, and they had come into the room and said, let's write a breakup song where the guy does the girl wrong, does her bad, but the girl still kind of like wishes the guy well in the end, like take care, I'm fine, I don't even care. And I'm just like, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> And that's just kind of where the inspiration of the song came from. It's a song for people that haven't got to say what they wanted to in a bad relationship or however something ended. I remember John Knight saying, before it was even like mastered or anything, when we after we wrote it, he was like, oh my gosh, this might be the biggest song of my career. I was like, okay, I'm getting excited now. Quick shout out to BBVA and Access. Thank y'all so much for having me. I appreciate it, it's good to be here. BBVA um, Music Sessions, I think it's a cool opportunity because of how intimate it is with your fans. And it's always so important to keep that intimacy with them and that connection because it's like your family. Fans is just kind of like, I don't know, a little bit of a disconnect for me. I want to think of them as supporters because they're lifting you up. And so if you're in an intimate setting and, and you can connect to them better, one-on-one, -on -one, and I think this is an amazing place to do that. I have not ever performed in Alabama. I've been wanting to do shows down in the South a lot and haven't gotten a lot of opportunities to do it, so I'm excited to be down here and a few people had said, did you want to do more shows in the South? I'm really, really thankful for every single person that I encounter because they are the reason why you are where you are. They give you the privilege of living this type of life that not many people get to live, so I just really appreciate them. And he's all